Hey guys, it's Room the Math Person, and today I'll be going over question 314 on exam P for SLA, but it looks like. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, so assuming that you pause the problem, let's just dive right into it. This question asks, asks the returns on two investments, X and Y, follow joint, joint probability distribution function given by this. Calculate the maximum value of Y, of variance of Y, given X is equal to R. Okay, so the first thing I notice is that the very um the function, the probability density function is a constant, which means it's a uniform distribution. And over this range right here. And then what is that range you may ask? Okay, well we can just graph it real quick. Oh, I'm gonna rewrite this as y, the absolute value of y is less than or equal to one minus the absolute value of x. So for example, this I can imagine. If x is positive in the first quadrant, it's basically just 1 minus x, right? So this is going to be like this line right here, given this is 1, with the slope negative 1, 1. So down 1 over 1, so this is going to be 1 as well. And you can think of it the second, um, um, in the second and third quadrant as well. And it actually ends up being just the um, square on that's a little bit tilted. So this is 1, 1, tilted 90 degrees. And... Yeah, so let's see if the range is outside or inside. If I check this point right here, for example, this is like 1 half 0. If I plug it in, 1 minus 1 half is less than 0. Is that true? Yes. So the range right here is the inside. Oh, is the inside right here. Okay, so we're trying to see the maximum value of variance of y. And again, remember, variance means it's the span of y. So what the um, value of r would it make the y range the biggest? Is it here? Well, no, the span's this much. But then it's the biggest when r is equal to 0 because the range is pretty big. It's like the span is pretty big. So to find the maximum value of the variance, we just have to set that the variance. This, we can just re rewrite it as variance of y given x is equal to 0 because that's when we can maximize this variance. Okay, okay, so this is easy because now we just, now it's instead of a um, multivariate, it's just univariate now because there's only, because x is constant, x is just at zero, so we can just say this is the, it's just the variance of y. So what is the variance of y? Well, we can always use that formula, you know, e x squared minus e of x, the whole thing squared, and you know, integrate it from like negative one to one and such whatnot, but... If you haven't seen my um, uniform distribution function, we actually proved this variance of y for uniform distribution to be b minus a over 12 and the whole thing squared. So on the range, negative 1 to 1, we can just plug those in. So that's going to be equal to 1 minus minus 1, which is just 1 minus 1, or 1 plus 1 squared over 12 is our variance for uniform distribution functions. So this is equal to 2 squared over 12, which is 4 over 12, which is equal to 1 third, which is your answer C. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, make sure you like, subscribe, and share it to your friends. Bye!